Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Hexphenom, and today we're here with Top 10 Tuesday, and that is where we count down something in zombies with a Top 10 list. We also have Top 5 Fridays. I already uploaded a video for this last, or this past Friday, sorry, about the Top 5 Worst Juggernaug Locations in the History of Zombies. Go check that one out. It's uh, it's not in any particular order, but it's still uh, it's still a pretty interesting list that I put together. And this one that we're doing today is the top ten assault rifles in zombies. Now this is gonna be Black Ops One and Black Ops Two only because there is technically no assault rifles in World at War. So let's get straight into the honorable mentions here. The first of two honorable mentions is the M8A1 from Call of Duty Black Ops Two. It's a quadruple burst assault rifle. Uh, pretty good for getting points, not too, too strong, which is exactly why I didn't make it on the list. And the fact that it's out of the box, so weak plus out of the box, uh, kind of low ammo. It's not it's not amazing, but it's, it's good. It's good enough to have been mentioned on this list. If you're good at getting headshots and you pack a punch, it can keep you alive until about round 25. Then you'll need to trade it in, get something good, or not, not, or something better, rather. And our second... Uh, honorable mention is the M14 from Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2, appearing in the starting room of just about every map since then. Uh, this thing is a semi-automatic, you're actually seeing it right on the screen here. I'm playing the Super Mario 64 World at War map, by the way, if anybody's wondering. Uh, M14, single shot, semi-automatic. It's, uh, it's very good for points in the early rounds. It can help you out a lot uh, with point manage or not point management but point building as opposed to the Olympia which is why I prefer it over the Olympia but that is just me all right getting into the actual list here guys number 10 is the M16 this thing is on the wall of of uh, pretty much every map I believe since Kino or at least it's on most maps since Kino and uh, this is a three round burst it's the three round burst uh, assault rifle it is right next to the power switch in Kino, actually, which is a very prime spot for it. Uh, this this thing is pretty good for building points when it's not pack a punch and pack a punch it, and it's it's pretty good. It turns into fully automatic, and it also gains a grenade launcher, which is pretty cool. Uh, getting straight on with the list here, guys. Number nine is the Famas from Black Ops One. This thing has a high rate of fire, pretty low recoil. The only problem with it, which is why it's not higher on the list, is because it has a pretty low amount of ammo, especially paired with high rate of fire that does not couple well in zombies. It would if it was a wall weapon, but it's just not, so that sucks, and uh, when you pack a punch it, it pretty much gets more powerful, gains more ammo, which is cool, gains a red dot sight, which is an added bonus. Number eight. Here, guys, is the FNFAL or the FN Foul. Uh, this is another semi automatic one, but it's actually way more powerful than the M14, which is exactly why it's here on the list. As opposed to the M14, the FN Foul is uh, very good for trigger finger enthusiasts like myself with very good trigger fingers. It's very much a trigger finger weapon, especially with double tap. Uh, this weapon is actually pretty powerful. And when you pack a punch it, it becomes the EPCWN or the Epic Win. Uh, when it's pack a punch, it becomes triple burst, and it becomes actually pretty good. The only problem I have is there's a pretty huge delay between bursts, so just be noted of that. Uh, it also gains a reflex sight when it's pack a punched. So number seven here is the MTAR, first introduced in Black Ops 2, and uh, the MTAR is a moderate rate of fire, moderate damage, like kind of run-of-the-mill assault rifle for zombies, and uh, nothing much to say about it. It's it's average. It's run-of-the-mill. Uh, there's no, there's nothing that really sets it apart from anything else, and when you pack a punch it, it becomes the malevolent, taxonomic, anodized redeemer, and it gains a reflex sight. This weapon is, uh, you can pack a punch it twice in Black Ops 2. Which is pretty cool, I guess, but all it really does is change the attachment. Uh, number six right here is the AUG from Black Ops 1. This thing has a high rate of fire, low recoil, 
pretty moderate to high damage kind of weapon. It's actually very good in that regard. Uh, what really sets this thing above other ones is its rate of fire and damage paired together. And uh, when you pack a punch this thing, it becomes the AUG 50 M3, or the AUGSUM, if you guys know what Leet speak is. Uh, it gains a shotgun attachment, an underbarrel shotgun attachment, which is pretty cool. It's not that useful, but it, it, it helps. It's more ammo, I mean. Who's going to complain? Uh, number five, we're getting into the top five here, guys. Number five is the M27, first introduced in Nuketown Zombies on Black Ops 2. And that's actually the only map that it appeared in, which sucks, because I actually really like the M27. But uh, the M27 is kind of almost like the MTAR in a way. It really doesn't have anything to set it apart from being average, other than a slightly higher damage than other assault rifles. Uh, the M27 Pack-A-Punched becomes the Mystifier, and it becomes very, very good, in my opinion. Most people didn't like this, but then again, most people didn't like Nuketown in general, so maybe that's why. Uh, not entirely sure. But let's keep going, guys. Number four is the Commando. Now, I was convinced for a while the M27 and the Commando actually had really similar stats. I kind of still want to say that they do, but I put the Commando over the M27 because I think the Commando just kind of feels better in the way it performs. The Commando is a high rate of fire, low recoil, high damage assault rifle in zombies, and it's really, really amazing in that regard. The second best assault rifle in Black Ops 1, in my opinion. And uh, when you pack a puncher, it becomes the Predator, and it gains a dual mag. So the Predator plus Speed Cola equals like almost instant reloading, which is pretty cool. Now, number three, this is the number one top assault rifle in Black Ops 1, in my opinion. The Galil, or the Galil, however you choose to pronounce it. This gun is by far the best assault rifle, in my opinion, on Black Ops 1. It has high damage, low recoil, moderate to high rate of fire. Uh, it has a lot of ammo, especially when you pack a punch. When you pack a punch, it, it has 35 uh, bullets in a magazine and 490 in reserve. So that's pretty crazy. That's a lot of ammo. It's a lot of that's a lot of zombie killing you're gonna be doing with that thing. And it also actually appears in Black Ops 2 as well, in the mystery box. Uh, number two, these last two were hard for me to put in order. But number two is the Scar H. This map was first introduced and actually only usable on Origins on Black Ops 2, which uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I wish it was in more maps. It's a really, really good assault rifle. But when uh, when you pack a punch this thing, it becomes the Agarthan Reaper, and it becomes so much more powerful. This is definitely on. This is definitely the highest powered assault rifle in my opinion on the list. Uh, because when when pack a punched with double tap on origins, you can kill the Panzer Soldat with probably about 20 headshots, even on around like 30 to 35. So that makes this really really high damage in that regard, and that's what makes this gun so amazing. That's why I wish it was on other maps, but sadly it wasn't. And the only thing that put that didn't put this at number one is the fact that it's a box weapon and you cannot buy ammo for it. So. Let's get right into it, guys. Number one, the number one best assault rifle in Call of Duty Zombies, in my opinion, is the AN-94. And the only reason I put this above the Scar Age is the fact that the, in both the two maps that the AN-94 appear in, it is a wall weapon. You can go and buy ammo for it, which is amazing, considering this thing is high damage, moderate to high rate of fire, high ammo... Uh, low recoil. This weapon is pretty much perfect, in my opinion. And the fact that it's a wall weapon, this is definitely by far the best wall weapon in Zombies history. That's just my opinion, though. Uh, when pack a punch, it becomes the actuated neutralizer 94,000. Gains a red dot sight, which is pretty damn awesome. And, uh,. That's going to be the end of the list, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think is the best assault rifle in zombies. And with that, I will see you guys.
in the next video. Have a phenomenal day. Peace out.